Hello everyone, we will continue that topic ALV by CL underscore SALV underscore table class. And in the previous video, I showed you the ALV in the table format. And yes, our ALV, whatever the output we are getting is in full screen mode. Now what I will do? Now same to same program, I will show you now the output in the form of container. In the container, we will display the ALV. Previously, you can simply simply understand CLSALV underscore table is a combination of all the predefined tools. So now we will go for the container concept. So I will not touch this existing program. I will make a copy. So that we have two programs. In one program, everything is in full screen mode. Means reuse ALB list display and reuse ALB grid display. In one program, the ALB is in container. It means it will be CL underscore GUI underscore ALB underscore grid. I will simply activate this and I will make a copy. So I will click, click on to copy button. Suppose I will give this is program 2. I will go for copy. I will select all, copy. I will save it as a local object. I will activate. Now we will pass the container also. You we will pass the container. We will display the ALV in the container. So I will simply simply uncomment exporting first. I will uncomment R underscore container. Now we will click on to factory method and we will check what will be the type of R underscore container. I will double click on the factory. If I will check the type of R underscore container, R underscore container is type ref to CL underscore GUI underscore container and you all know whenever you have type ref2 it means it is a object it is a object so R underscore container is a object of which particular class it is referring to which particular class CL underscore GUI underscore container now, if I will show you the program in which we used CLGUI ALV grid so that you can relate very easily. This is the program we developed and in this we used CLGUI ALV grid concept. And you all know at that time we created the object of the container we created the object of the container and this object is referring to which particular class CLGUI custom container. Do not confuse. We have two classes CLGUI container and CLGUI custom container. Do not confuse with that. Yes, you can use any of the class because anyways it is a container. So when we simply covered CLGUI ALV grid also, we simply declare the object which is referring to the container class and we created the object. Same way we need to do here also. So what I will do, I will firstly declare a object. I will remove this and I will show you to declare again. So I will write a data lo underscore cond type ref2 cl gui custom container you can take cl gui container class also no problem 
So I took CLGUI custom container. I will create the object. I will write create object LO underscore COND. And I'm putting dot. Whenever I will check the syntax, I will get a error. And it is fully, fully explained when we covered the ALV through container and CLGUI ALV grid. Whenever I created the object, whenever I'm creating the object of the container class, I'm getting an error. You have not passed the value to the mandatory parameter container underscore name. Now I will show you again. I will double click onto this object. This object is referring to this particular class. Now you all know whenever we are creating the object, constructor method will call automatically at that point of time. So we will simply, simply find the constructor method. Now I will simply go for find next. And you can see we have a constructor method. If I will go to parameters, you can see all other parameters are optional, optional is strict, but there is one mandatory parameter container underscore name. We need to pass the value to this mandatory parameter. And in the same playlist, when I showed you the ALV by CL, GUI, ALV grid concept, we put so much stress at that point of time also. Because whenever you are creating the object, one method will call automatically, that is constructor method. So we will pass the value. Exporting container underscore name is equal to COND. We can give any name to the container. And you all know, whatever this constructor is there, it only, only accept importing parameters. If they are here, it is importing. It means whenever we will call, it will treat as exporting. If I will show you constructor method again. If I will go for next, you can see if I will go to parameters, there is no option for importing, exporting, changing, returning. It means all these parameters are by default what importing. If it is importing here, it means whenever we will pass from the program, it will treat as exporting. It will treat as exporting. Now, now this particular statement will create a object of the container class. Now this object we need to pass here. LO underscore COND. And you can see both have same to same type. LO underscore COND is referring to CLGUI custom container. If you will see R underscore container, it is referring to CLGUI container. Do not confuse with custom word. Anyways, it is container class. Now we have a parameter for container underscore name. You can pass COND or if you are not passing, SAP will simply understand because we created the object by passing the name of the container as COND only. If you want to pass, you can pass. You can pass container underscore name is COND. It's totally your wish. I will check the syntax and I will activate. So we created the object of the container and name of the container is COND. Just recall, whenever we did display the ALV using CLGUI ALV grid concept, we created the object of the container. We created the object of the grid 
and this container is acting as a parent. Then we use the method set table for first display. And we simply, simply call the screen. And in the screen, we have the container. Now just compare here. We created the object of the container. We passed the container object. We will get a object of the ALV. We will get a object of the ALV and we are calling the display method. Here we have display method. There we have set table for first display method. Now I will simply, simply go for call screen because ultimately we need to display. So we need to create the container. So you will create the container on the screen. I will double click. I will create this particular screen. I will give the short description to the screen. Suppose I will say sales order details. I will go for layout and we will go for container. Same to same. But just the advantage is CLSALV table is fulfilling both the ways. You can go for full screen also. You can go for container also. I will simply now go for container. This is your container, custom control. And I will give the name COMT. We'll go for save. I will simply activate. I will activate the program also. Now for the best understanding, again, I will show you in the debugging mode, how the objects are creating. I will give the input and go for execute. I will go to desktop 3, most preferable desktop. So as of now, container object has not created. Now it will create the object of the container. Now you can see we have the object of the container. Now the container object is created. So now we are passing the object of the container. Yes, in this LT final, we have that data. And once this method will execute, this the ALV object will create. I will go for F6. I will go for F6. And you can see the particular ALV object is created. Once the object of ALV is created, can we call the instance method display? Yes. Now we are displaying the ALV. If I will go for execute, and you can see now we have the ALV in the container itself. Now I will show you both the programs, our previous program and this program so that you can compare very easy. This is our first ALV program, which we displayed. If I will give the input, you can see this is full screen mode, full screen mode, same to same output. Now we have in the container container. This is container. And this is full screen mode. And have you seen we are using single class CLSALV table because it is a combination of all the predefined tools. So you can go for reuse ALV grid display list display, which is giving the output in the full screen mode. And you can go for CLGUI ALV grid also which is simply, simply giving the output in the form of container. And same, these buttons will not work because we created our own screen. But here, 
these buttons will work yes so you can relate very very easily for the previous topics as well but main main advantage is yes your alv object model is encapsulation of all the previous or predefined alv tools and yes in this particular class we have reuse alv list display reuse alv grid display plus clgy alv grid also so firstly i showed you and it is just giving the output like reuse alv list display and grid display function modules then i showed you through container concept we created the object of the container we created the screen and in the screen we designed the container so what is the summary of this particular video in this video i firstly made a copy of the existing program and in that program we i created a object of the container first if i will go to that particular program i firstly created a object of the container then i passed the object of the container to this particular factory method in front of r underscore container the r underscore container is of type clgy container do not confuse with that custom word anyways both are container whenever i created the object of the container you all know sap will call the constructor method automatically because whenever we are creating the object a method which call automatically is constructor we checked there is a mandatory parameter container underscore name so we pass the mandatory parameter we pass the object to this factory method we got the object of the alv we call the display method and we are simply simply creating a container on the screen and we got the output so you will have both the things now in one program we have the output in the full screen mode in another program we have the output in the container so that's it in this video thank you